Hey everyone, Todd here, Product Manager for SolidWorks at Hawk Ridge Systems. Today I wanted to introduce a new type of sketch curve available in SolidWorks 2014. To show it off, we're going to be looking at a model here that is a foot platform for a stand-up ATV that you might have seen uh, in some pictures on our website or the SolidWorks website. As you can see, it's uh, defined by some nice uh, freeform flowing curves that were created with splines in the SolidWorks sketch environment. If we'll go under the hood here, we'll uh, take a little bit deeper look at how it was done and maybe how this new type of sketch curve can uh, help us get the job done better in certain situations. Okay, so this one we're spanning uh, this point to this point with a five point spline. SolidWorks splines are classified as B splines. They're created by, uh, the, again, the endpoints as well as the through points through the curve. At each of these through points, there are tangency weighting uh, and vector handles for additional control. We can even turn on the control polygon. And what that allows us to do is select these points where the polygon co is connected. They're called control vertices. And that allows us to shape the curve also. However, these are not constrainable in any type of fashion. It's completely subjective. But again, it does add quite a bit of control. Now, getting into that where it's too much control, we can see here where that is the case and things can get a little awkward. If we look at the curvature here, I'm trying for a nice, smooth, continuous flowing span across these two supports here. And it looked good at first, but again, you can kind of see where these uh, control points are. Uh, I start to get some inflections where the curvature kind of changes directions a couple places and things don't look good. And again, it looked good at, at a glance, but that's going to reflect light in a way where you're going to see wrinkles or inflections on the surface. It doesn't look good. Uh, it might even be, you know, you can sense it if uh, it's like a, an interface to your hand or foot. You might notice it there. So it's not good for product design. It's not a good fit. So again, I could spend another couple hours maybe fine tuning these handles to smooth it out as best as possible. But instead, I would recommend using this new type of spline. It's called the style spline in SolidWorks 2014. It's completely different. It is sketched with the control vertices only and those are the only way to control it as well. So it's a much simpler type of spline. I'm just going to start it. I'm going to leave the old one there for comparison's sake. I'm going to start it in the same and now I am sketching basically the control polygon or I'm sketching those, I'm placing those control vertices. Okay, and you can see, to make it nice and easy to constrain, SolidWorks connects these control vertices with lines. And now so that, these are something that everyone is familiar with. And we can control that shape. The only way to control that shape is through these control vertices. But again, it's points and lines. Everyone knows that. It also lends itself very well to uh, for constraining, uh, again, with uh, simple relations, uh, even dimensions. It, that'll also make them configurable or maybe we could drive them with a equation also to help shape the curve. This it opens up some nice new options that weren't available previously as well as um, symmetry and mirroring, things like that because we can control, completely constrain these lines in a very simple way that it makes it very easy to con constrain. You'll see I'm just applying very basic, very simple constraints to these lines and points. All right, and we'll add one more dimension here. And you can see now the entire hull, it's called, or control polygon, as well as the spline, has, is completely constrained now. Okay, so again, very easy while keeping the math of the underlying curve very simple also. It's a single span Bezier curve, point A to point B, with me controlling the vertices and the control polygons uh, throughout the curve. So again, that's where the major difference is. And I would say this is the perfect uh, situation to use this type of spline. Again, 
keep in mind it's not going to replace anything. It's not meant to replace anything. It's just yet another tool in our arsenal to create these type of free flowing shapes. If I turn on the uh, curvature combs now, you can see I get a much, much better result while also it being much easier to create in the first place, much easier to constrain in the first place. And I get this beautiful continuity and smoothness all throughout the curve from one point to the next. And now I'll use real quickly the replace entity here and we'll swap out the old curve for the new one and rebuild the model. Okay, so there it is. It looks really nice. That's an improvement there. So again, not meant to replace anything. It's just another tool. Know when to use it. And again, bridging or looking for a bridge curve. This is a perfect time to use the new style spline in SOLIDWORKS 2014.